Hello and welcome back to Home Time with Robbie and Susie. I'm so excited to have you with us and I have Erica here with me today and we are so excited to explore Arctic animals with you. So these are all types of animals that live in Antarctica and in the snow. So let's go and see what animals we're going to explore today. Hi, I'm Robbie. Hi, I'm Susie. Hi, I'm Miss Carly, the teacher. It's time for Home Time with Robbie and Susie. I have hands. I have hands. Watch me clap. Watch me clap. Oh, oh what a miracle am I. I have feet. I have feet. Watch me stand. Watch me stand. Oh, Watch me swing. Watch me swing. Oh, what a miracle am I. I have legs. I have legs. They can bend and stretch. They can bend and stretch. Oh, what a miracle am I. Oh, what a miracle. Oh, So very special, there's nobody quite like me. I have a spine, I have a spine, it can twist and bend, it can twist and bend. Oh, what a miracle am I! I have a one foot, I have a one foot, watch me balance. Antarctic animals today and so we're going to be looking at some seals and some penguins and maybe some whales but do you know what I have a song for you about some animals that live in our Antarctic would you like to join in with me it goes like this Old MacDonald had an ocean e-i-e-i-o and in that ocean he had a whale E-I-E-I-O <gasps> With a spout spout here and a spout spout there Here a spout, there a spout, everywhere a spout spout Old MacDonald had an ocean E-I-E-I-O Because <gasps> remember whales spout all that water out of the hole on their back <gasps> Ooh, What's another animal that might live in our Antarctic? Mm, maybe a penguin Ready? Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O And in that ocean he had a penguin, E-I-E-I-O With a waddle waddle here and a waddle waddle there Here a waddle, there a waddle, everywhere a waddle waddle Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O <gasps> Have you ever seen the penguins and they waddle about? Because their feet can't move too fast <gasps> Maybe we could do our seal now. Are you ready? Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O And in that ocean he had a seal, E-I-E-I-O With a dive here and a dive there Here a dive, there a dive, everywhere a dive, dive Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O <gasps> Wow, we looked at a whale a penguin and a seal. And 
and I think they might be three animals we're going to explore in our Antarctic animals. But first, I think Erica's got some things to show us. Let's go see what she's got planned. Thanks, Stacey. I'm actually super excited to explore Antarctic animals because my sister has actually traveled to Antarctica on a big ship. She was lucky enough to see these incredible animals and capture some amazing photos. Let's look at the first one. This is a leopard seal. The leopard seal is the third largest seal in the world. And do you know what? They actually sing underwater. That's pretty amazing. Look at him, sunbaking on a bit of ice in Antarctica. Let's see what we have next. This one is one of my favorite photos. Wow, this is a humpback whale under the water. She put her camera down and took a photo and look what she got. She got the eye. Humpback whales are enormous. They can grow as big as a school bus. That's very big. Do you know what humpback whales also sing underwater? and they have amazing acrobatic abilities. That's pretty cool. So that was his eye. Should we see his tail? That was him frolicking in the water, showing off a little bit. So that was his little tail. And to finish it off, in Antarctica, they also have lots of icebergs. And you know what? Roughly 85% of an iceberg lies under the surface. Wow. So there's the bit on top, but there's a lot on the bottom that we can't see. That's amazing. So there were all the photos that my sister, ca sister captured when she went to Antarctica. I actually have a song with a whale in it. Should we sing it together? It's called Slippery Fish. Are you ready? Get your slippery fish. Slippery fish, slippery fish, sliding in the water. Slippery fish, slippery fish. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, it's been eaten by an octopus. Octopus squiggling in the water. Octopus, octopus, gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, it's been eaten by a tuna fish. Tuna fish flashing through the water. Tuna fish, tuna fish, gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, it's been eaten by a great white shark. Great white shark lurking in the water. Great white shark, great white shark. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, it's been eaten by a, are you ready? Humongous whale, humongous whale spouting in the water. Humongous whale, humongous whale. Go, go, go! Oh, oh no! That's the end of our song. I hope you enjoyed singing it. Now we're going to read a story with Stacy. Let's go. Thank you so much, Erica. That would have been such an amazing trip for your sister to go on, and I bet she would have had to go on a really big boat but to be able to capture so many beautiful photos and see so many Antarctic animals, that would have been such an amazing trip. Thank you for sharing. I actually do have a story today and it is all about Antarctic animals. <gasps> and I think we can see some penguins on the front. I wonder what other animals we might see. Let's have a look together. Antarctic animals live around the South Pole. So we've been learning that Antarctica is at the bottom of the poles. And look, I can see snow on our mountain tops. Let's see what animals we can see. Penguins live in the Antarctic. 
they swim in the sea. But did you know penguins are a bird that can't fly? Ooh, I didn't know that. Penguins work, walk on ice and they lay eggs on land. Some penguins can be very big too. Whales also live in Antarctic. We saw whales in Erica's photos, didn't we? They breathe air. Can you see he's coming up? Seals live in the Antarctic. They swim so fast in the water. But did you know seals move very slow on the land? Skewers live in the Antarctic. Skewers are among the world's largest seabird. It's a bit tricky to see. It's hiding in the grass there. But we have to be very careful because these birds, they like to eat penguin eggs. Oh dear. I think the penguins would have to protect their eggs and keep them safe. It's not very nice, is it? Albatrosses live in the Antarctic. They eat fish from the sea. They must dive down to catch that fish. Albatrosses can fly for days without stopping for rest. Oh, they must have very strong wings. Do you think you could fly for days without rest? I know I need my rest every night. Would you like to visit Antarctic? I think I would. Look how beautiful it looks with all the icebergs and the snow. And if I got to see all these animals in Antarctic, I think it would be a great place to go visit. I've loved looking at Antarctic animals with you, but do you know what? I think there's an animal that we could explore from our Teach Your Toddler to Read. And it's the sound W. Let's go have a look. Hi, I'm Robbie. Hi, I'm Susie. Hi, I'm Miss Carly, the teacher. It's time for Playtime, Playtime with Robbie and Susie. Bye, Susie. Have a nice day. Hello. I'm in the garden. Hi, Susie. My mum is taking me down into the deep sea in her submarine. Would you like to join us, Susie? Yes, please. Look, some fish. Oh, wow. Look at those fish. Oh, look, a gumboot. Good morning, Susie. Good morning, Robbie. Miss Carly. It's so fun to go adventuring into the deep sea and to find out about all the creatures that live there. Let's see if we can find any sea creatures in our game today. Which game are we going to play today? Choose picture freeze. No, choose odd sound out. We're going to play the odd sound out game. We need to find out which picture sounds different at the start. Let's take a picture from my secret sound bag. What is this? A watch. Would you like to put it on our circle mat? Would you like to take another picture out of the bag? What is this? A whale! Would you like to put it on our circle mat? I wonder what our secret sound will be. Would you like to take another picture out of the bag? What is this? A jellyfish! Would you like to put it on our circle mat? 
Would you like to take another picture out of the bag? What is this? A wheel. Would you like to put it on our circle mat? Which picture has a different starting sound to the others? The jellyfish. That's right. Let's take it off the circle mat. Let's find out what our secret sound is. Would you like to take the secret sound out of the bag? What is this? Blah. That's right. Listen to the first sound of each word as I say them. Watch. Whale. Wheel. Robbie, do you think you know what the secret sound is? Um. Uh. No, that's not quite right. Would you like to try pointing and saying the sound and words? Watch. Whale. Wheel. Robbie, now do you know what the secret sound is? Wah. That's right. Our secret sound today is whirr. Thanks for playing games with me today. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. We made it to the bottom of the ocean. Oh, wow. What's that? It's a big wobbly whale. Wow. Just like in our favourite song. Whales are wobbling, whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 That was so fun. But it's time for me to go home and have some lunch. Bye, Susie. Thanks for joining in on our adventures. Bye, Susie. Bye-bye. Stacey, I loved your story about the Antarctic animals. Because we have been learning about whales, I thought we could create our own blue whale. And I had some inspiration from my little whale friend over there, the photo that my sister captured. And do you know what? It is a beautiful photo of the eye. That would have been so special to capture such an amazing photo. So what have you got planned? So to create our blue whale, we're going to use a head. We're going to use blue paint. We're going to use a googly eye. Oh, similar to that one. And we're going to use some collage, some blue collage to decorate our whale. So let's get started. I'm going to start by painting my hand blue. Oh my. Wow. I bet that's a little bit cold and it a little bit is. tickly. What a beautiful blue. It is a very beautiful blue you have there and the perfect blue to create a blue whale. So once you paint your hand, we're going to put it on the paper just like this. So on the side, very careful. We don't want to smudge and then, oh, we might put some more. Oh, have a look. Oh, let's see how she's gonna make this look like a whale. All right, well, I'm gonna clean my hand a little bit. It's very blue now. Okay, so we're going to fill in the white piece of paper, just with a bit of blue. Okay, and then we are going to, oh, we might do some more. Fill, fill, fill. And then, just with one finger, we're going to paint again. And this is actually going to create the tail. Because you need to have a tail just like in the photo you showed earlier of that beautiful tail splashing up out of the water. So we've got our whale. But I think it's missing.
missing something. Ooh. I think it's missing its big eye. So we'll stick the googly eye on. Wow. Oh, and look, I can start to see this blue whale come together. We've got its head, its body. We look like we've got a little bit of a fin happening and its big tail. Wow, this is starting to become a very big blue whale. Yes, definitely. And did you know the blue whale is the largest animal ever known to live on Earth? Wow, I did know that a whale was pretty big because I had heard a whale could be as long as 30 metres. That's very long. That is pretty big. I wonder if we got a tape measure out and measured how far 30 metres was. I think we would all be very surprised. Yes, definitely. And did you know that actually their tongues weighed as much as an elephant? An elephant? An, an elephant. elephant. <laughs> you know, the one that goes like this. Woo! Yes, an <gasps> elephant. Their tongues. Wow. Oh, when I think of my tongue, I could not imagine my tongue being that heavy. <gasps> what are some amazing facts about blue whales? <gasps> and tell me, do you know how long a whale lives for? No, I don't. Well, I know that a whale can live for a very long time. 80 to 90 years. Wow. That is very old. And do you know what? I think this whale might live for 80 to 90 years. I hope so. But what else are we going to add to our whale? So, oh, I forgot. If you want to, you can add some collage paper. So you can put these on. Ooh, I've got some light blue and then I've got also some dark blue. Oh and lots of different colours and textures. Wow. Wow. What a great whale. Thank you. I bet you could make a really cool whale at home too. And do you know what? I was thinking, Erica, if you made a whale at home, I bet you could add lots of other things too. We could maybe draw some snowflakes on there. Definitely. Or maybe we could draw our wavy ocean. Or even an iceberg. Oh, and I heard that you were telling our friends that an iceberg is also under the water. It's not just sitting on top. No. So I bet you could definitely draw your iceberg and show where it's under the water with this whale as well. What a great experience. Do you know what? Thank you so much, Erica. I have loved learning all about Antarctic animals. And I think I have some really cool facts about whales and seals that I can go and share. Maybe you can go and share them with your family too. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, bye. bye.